I'm gonna start this video off by saying the only reason I'm making this video is because I was the channel that was singled out at the end by taking a joking segment of mine out of context and then just kind of spinning it into something it wasn't. So welcome back to the self-isolation sofa. In today's video, we're just gonna be looking at just that. Now, as y'all know, Idubs made a video responding to the whole situation between him and his community and his girlfriend and his girlfriend's OnlyFans. And it's a weird video to watch through, not only because it's weird to see myself in an Idubs video, but it's also just weird to see a guy who normally has bulletproof points now have to deflect and dance around points and jokes that he normally would have just laughed off. What I'm trying to say here is for once, it seems like he was personally offended by an online joke, which is weird to see, but understandable. He was put in a very awkward situation, but he posted this video, which he really didn't have to post. Honestly, if he just posted reviewing peanuts part two, that would have been much better. But I would say the video he uploaded is split into two parts. Part one, responding to over obsessive fans taking things way too personally, which ironically I was also doing in my video. A good amount of people are just doing the reasonable thing and just making jokes and laughing about it. But there's a whole nother group of people who feel personally devastated and betrayed. But that lasts about until the four minute mark in his video. Then I guess part two is where he addresses some quick pros and cons I compiled off the internet of his girlfriend making an OnlyFans, which is where he starts to fumble a bit. Because this was all based on a joke in my video, which he didn't include the entire clip showing the hints that it was a joke. So at this point, I'm like, why am I here? Where is this going? But let's take a look at this together. I wanted to talk more about all the shitty takes that people have. And this guy that we're gonna watch has pretty much listed all of what the arguments are for people who don't morally agree with the situation. So on the cons, we have everyone can see what he sees for a few dollars. What exactly do you think I'm seeing? Do you think she's shooting fireworks out of her? Do you think she's screening the Matrix Reloaded down there? It's not a mystery. It's a pussy dude. And then there's no special pussy. It doesn't become less valuable the more people see it. Okay, dude. That's your opinion. I'll leave that point there. The internet is a forever archive, so there's no, uh, ah, I regret, delete all button. That's not quite there. I don't know why this point is being made. Uh, it's sort of like from 2003. By the way, the internet, it's a forever archive. Didn't know if you knew, but uh, when you upload something, it might stick around. This isn't done impulsively. Like, wh what do you think? Someone's just going to make an OnlyFans just on a whim? Didn't give it any thought. Just thought maybe I'll sell my online and see how it goes. Nah, but if you have the context that your girlfriend didn't even want to have her cleavage out on her Twitch stream, and her making remarks like we're all just one bad stream day away from an OnlyFans career, that heavily insinuates that in her opinion, that's not her ideal job. And now it's there forever. Hence why the point's there. And then future jobs, they might be a little bit harder to come by. I think this is one of the most important opinions to highlight because it really demonstrates a severe lack of real world experience when you're saying that future jobs are going to be harder to come by because of an OnlyFans account. Like, if you think this affects your standing or your social credibility in getting jobs, you are so sadly mistaken. <laughs> this one took the cake. I love how Idubs, who's a commentary channel, decided to put himself on a throne to talk to me, who's another commentary channel, that I have a lack of real world experience because I said this could affect future jobs. One Google search shows that this point is misleading. And the next point he makes isn't even about me. He just spins it off his previous rant. And I will also say, if you want to morally grandstand, one of the sh things that I think you can do morally is judging someone about what they did previously and not hiring them, even though they're qualified for the job. This is straight out of the playbook of the boomer who's decaying in his lazy boy, who, who wants to tell you, no, nah, that ain't going to work. You, no one's going to hire you looking like that. The bone through your nose? <laughs> yeah, forget it. Yeah, the stud going through your tongue, no one wants working for them. And the dyed hair, don't get me started on the dyed hair and the tattoos. No one's going to hire you looking like that. Okay, I didn't say any of that in my video, so let's move on. In my head, there would be uh, so many other things to do and make money before stooping to this point. I find it very fascinating that a uh, commentary YouTuber who's known for criticizing others, much like me, would be willing to take the position that work is beneath them, uh, that they aren't on the same level as work. That's fascinating. I find it really interesting that that is the uh, 
that's the position you want to take. That I think that'll age quite nicely. I see how that comment can be seen as disrespectful at first, but if you add the context I previously added, because of what she's been insinuating over the past years is why I use that term. I like how you presented us both as equals here to then put us below your girlfriend. So putting everyone who commentates over recent events and people on the internet below your girlfriend who's selling lewds to your teenage audience is an interesting defense. Normally, YouTubers make brands and products and promote them. You guys are promoting lewds together, which is in your guys' full right to do so, but just don't be upset if people are clowning on you guys on the internet for it. You can add extra money as well, which, I mean, I don't know if it's really needed in that household, considering the dude will pull like 3 million views off of reviewing peanuts, but, um... Okay. Sounds like someone's a little bit salty. You do realize that if your partner is making a lot of money and is very wealthy, that doesn't automatically make you feel fulfilled in the relationship or feel like you're contributing enough because based on your argument then i guess jeff bezos's son just should never work at mcdonald's i understand and relate to what you're trying to say here but what i was trying to say is there are other ways for your girlfriend to make money without putting the person she loves being you in a position where you feel like you have to make a video like this because no matter what happens, the entire situation was amplified by Idubs feeling the need to make this video. Because now he's bringing his entire fan base into it when it used to only be Reddit and Twitter. I was dragged into making a response by Idubs by singling out a segment in my video to make a bunch of points to fit his narrative. But that would be no better than me singling out a joking segment from one of his past videos to fit some new narrative I have. I made my original video covering how dumb of a situation this is, and now somehow, the situation is now dumber. Things got blown out of proportion. I was covering what was going on Twitter that day, cracked a few jokes, and whoop-de-doo, here we are. So on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.